Good morning folks, Richie Rich here. Today in this video, um, it's now 7 in the morning, oh, oh, 700 hours in war terms. So, um, today is 7 in the morning, um, today in this video, um, I'm going to be doing, uh, one final American, uh, muscle car, uh, video, uh, American car video, uh, last one I'll be doing. And then after that, can't skip breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You can't skip that. So, um, today in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about another uh, American car video, but it's going to be my last one. And then after that, I'll be heading back into the Europeans, the European hybrid cars and all that stuff. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> oh god, my throat is dry. <clears throat> Whew, thank god. Alright, um, today in this video, I'm gonna be talking to, talking to you guys about... Yes, it's gonna be another Cadillac, but this time it's gonna be a different one. Today in this video, I'm gonna be talking talking to you guys about the Cadillac Escala. Now, this is gonna be more, my final uh, Cadillac video I'll be doing, and then after that, like I said before, I will be moving on to the European stuff and maybe the Asian stuff as well, like you know, Japanese cars and like European cars as well, and all that sort of stuff. You know, I'll be doing. So yeah, um. Without any further ado, guys, let's get started. Oh, and before we start, uh, I had the brakes for a second, uh, and the clutch, uh, before we start, uh, make sure you like the video and subscribe and comment below what you guys think. So, like, subscribe, comment below what you guys think of this video. And, uh, yesterday, uh, I recently did a post, uh, yesterday of me, uh, doing uh, a video on the Bugatti, on, like, a hypercar, which is called the Bugatti Bolight. And, uh, so that will have to wait eventually. I will prom I'll promise you I will do it at some point. I just don't know when, but at some point I will do it. I, I promise you guys I'll do it. So yeah, um, yeah, don't do this. Like, I, I advise you to not click your fingers because they're. Like when you go older, like your fingers will start to hurt. They will start to hurt a lot. So I'm, I'm gonna try not to do this anymore. I'll try not to do it. All right. <clears throat> Without any further ado, guys, let's get started. So, uh, the Cadillac Escala. Uh, the Cadillac Escala is a concept car built by Cadillac for the 2016 Pebble Beach Concourse de Elegance. Cool. The last of a trifecta of a of concept cars. All right, the last of a trifecta of concept cars. Initially con initially conceived in 2007. It's preceded by the CL and El Mirage, which I talked about before, which had debuted back in 2011 and 2013 respectively. The Escala previews Cadillac's uh, future design language, being an evolution of an of the art and science design philosophy. Yeah, of the art and science design philosophy. Philosophy. There we go. That has been used on it on its cars for over a decade. So as usual, we're going to be doing the main important part, which is the overview of the car. So let's do the manufacturer. It's first and foremost, it's important. So, uh, manufacturer is obviously by Cadillac from GM, General Motors. Uh, production is from 2016, which is a concept car. Designer is Frank Wu and Aaron Riggs, who's the exterior designers. And then we got Eric Um, who's the interior designer. Next, we got body and chassis. Uh, the class is a full-size luxury car. Body style is a four-door liftback or a hardtop sedan. Uh, 
The layout is front engine rear wheel drive. Platform is the GM GM Alicia uh platform. And it's related to the Cadillac CT6. Next we got powertrain. The engine is a 4.2 liter twin turbocharged gasoline uh, powered uh, V8. Transmission is a 10 speed automatic gearbox. Dimensions is next. Uh, wheelbase uh, 127.1 inches, 3,228.3 millimeters. Length is 210.5 inches, 5,346.7 millimeters. The width 76.7 inches, 1,948.2 millimeters. Height 57.3 inches, 1,455.4 millimeters. I didn't really say it's weight, so uh, maybe it's not classified or something. I don't know. But next up, we got the chronology. That's what we know. The predecessor is the Cadillac El Mirage, which I talked about before. The Escala was first announced via a trailer video on August 15th, 2016. Its name, revealed revealed one day uh, before its public debut, derives from the Spanish word for scale. The Escala means scale in Spanish. This refers to the Escala using an elongated version of the Cadillac CT6's... Uh, so it's like underside, like underpinnings. So, of oh, the Cadillac CT6's Omega... Uh, underpinnings uh, being approximately six inches longer so it's six inches longer uh, than the ladder uh, that's spelled l-a-t-t-e-r don't know what that is but it sounds interesting i think i don't know uh the car was unveiled at a drinks party in caramel by the sea in california on august 18th 2016 which was attended by Cadillac president uh, Johan de Johan de Nishchen, I think it's spelled N Y S S C H E N. I think I said it right. Johan de Nishchen, I think. I don't know. Uh, GM vice president of global design, uh, Michael Simcoe, and Cadillac's executive Desi executive director of global design, uh, Andrew Smith along with several other executives. Although yet to be officially uh, confirmed for production, it was described by Denis Chen as a potential addiction, not addiction, not addiction, sorry, uh, a potential addition to our existing product plan in a press release. Its ultimate fate determined to be fertility yeah, fertility of the flag of the flagship luxury luxury sedan market or luxury saloon market however it previews the design power it, so it, pre it previews the design powertrain and other advanced techn technological features cur currently in development uh, that that's set to appear on other that's set to appear on other oncoming upcoming Cadillac production cars in the future Next, we got overview. Uh, next, then we're gonna do exterior first. The exterior painted in a in a nine layer pearlescent blackish uh, brown Gaia blackish brown Gaia, I think, or G. I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's spelled G A I A. So it's G A I A. G or Gaia? I I I, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Uh, finish. Uh, Blends Cadillac's uh, trademark uh, art and science era design cues with more contemporary uh, ones, uh, being the first Cadillac to feature horizontal headlights since the since the uh, this one's gonna be not really good one since the Seville Cadillac Seville. I saw that it was ugh, it was the worst. Like those were not really good at all at all. Just, 
god to see those when i first saw that it, it literally gave me shivers and chills just because of how awful that car was the cadillac seville if you search that if you guys search up the cadillac seville uh you will see what it looks like and you'll know what i mean like of how awful that car is i think it's 2004 it looks similar to the cadillac scs I saw that and it was terrible that car. So if you guys have time, uh, uh, search up the Cadillac Seville and you'll know what I'm talking about. Like it is so awful that car. Like literally, it is just terrible. Ugh. We're kind of like even thinking of making that. Ugh. Anyways, uh, let's move on. Uh, since the Seville uh, was discontinued in 2004. Uh, this was done to give the car a more understated, uh, a more understated, harmonious look, in which simplicity is uh, a prevalent uh, theme on the Escala's design. They're complemented by two vertical vertical strips of o of OLED organic light emitting diode the daylight running lights, positioned you know, positioned just below the headlights. A monotone uh, Cadillac emblem adorns the 3D mesh grille, patterned with several uh, miniature crests. The car is designed as a four-door hardtop with a slopping rear roof lining, with a slopping rear roof line, giving a more athletic appearance with a fastback tailgate at a rear end. When the trunk is open, the cargo uh, floor rises up to enable easier access to luggage. Also uh, present on the car's C pillar is the Hofmeister King, a rarely seen trait for a Cadillac, possibly paying homage to the fastback Cadillac coupes of the late 1940s. Cadillac's signature vertical uh, taillights are reworked, now added with a horizontal strip. The hor horizontal strip. It sits on 22-inch dual-layer uh, spoke wheels. Fitted with 20-inch tires, co-developed with Michelin that have that has the Cadillac that has the Cadillac Chevron uh, exclusively engraved onto the tire tread. The newly designed front fascia is expected to make its way to Cadillac production models, starting in late 2018. Now we got the interior. The handcrafted dual personality interior is designed specifically to combine. Uh, both driver technology amenities and rear seat passenger comfort and rear seat passenger comfort into one automobile a wide three layer sorry, a wide three layer uh, la three layered uh, covered OLED screen developed with Samsung uh, stretches across the, da the dashboard in the driver's compartment while accompanied by smaller retractable displays at the back of the front seats for rear passengers the normal metal top the normal metal top is replaced by a panoramic glass roof which along with which along with the absence of b pillars gives the car a more airy feel associated associated with cadillac hardtops from the 50s to the 70s. Much of the upholstery, including the seat backs, door panel, and lower dashboard, is finished in a pale is finished in a pale gray leather similar to those used in designer suits, contrasted by woven white wool. The famous Cadillac Flying Goddess, designed by William Schnell, 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 I think William Schnell. It's spelled S C H N E L L. I think I said it right. William Schnell, I think? I don't know. Uh, in 1930, uh, and having last appeared in the 50s, returns after a long hiatus in the form an etching on the vehicle's glass infotainment controller, or GIC for short, which replaces the old CUE system. Next, we got powertrain. The Escala is powered by a Cadillac exclusive. 4.2 liter twin turbocharged DOHC dual overhead camshaft V8 engine generating 500 horsepower, which is due to be introduced, which is due to be introduced as a more powerful engine, as a more powerful engine option in the CT in the CT6. 
the engine uses General Motors' new uh, AFMCD system, which is, stands for Active Fuel Management uh, Cylinder Deactivation System, allowing the engine to run on four cylinders for better fuel efficiency, which is actually true, because if you shut down half the cylinders, it makes the car more economical, just by, by shutting down 50% of the car's cylinders. So for better fuel efficiency, the car shares the mixed uh, material rear-wheel drive Omega platform with the CT6, although enlarged by 4.7 inches, giving the car an extra 6.5 inches, 6.5 inches, same thing, in overall uh, length when compared to the latter. Now we got the cancelled Cadillac CT8. The Cadillac CT8, a flagship sedan larger. So the Cadillac CT8, a flagship a flagship sedan larger than the CT6 was cancelled by GM, General Motors. So yeah, GM patent fillings indicates a possible coupe version of the CT8. Next we got media. And that will be it. So, um, the Ascala was featured in a Cadillac advertisement as a symbol of what Cadillac's future will look like. So that is officially it guys uh, of the Cadillac so I'll take a break of all like the American cars and all that stuff I mean they're cool for me but I'll take a break from them just because you know there'll be a bit too much for you guys uh, also a bit too much for me I'll understand that so uh, I'll take a break from that for now and uh, move on to the European stuff and the Asian Japanese cars as well so um for my next video, as you guys might have seen, I got a couple likes of like a, a hypercar I'm gonna be talking about. It'll be about the Bugatti Bolide. So uh, I will talk about that at some other time. I got the info done, and uh, all I just gotta do is I just gotta talk about this, and uh, I'll see what else I could do. Sounds like a plan. So uh, pretty much, it wasn't that much, anyways, actually, but it took a while just to get all of this done. But the important thing is. I managed to get it done, so that's important. So, um, that is it, guys. So, if you guys like this video, um, like it, subscribe. <sighs> freezing, it's freezing cold. All right, uh, so that'll be it, guys. So, if you guys like this video, like, subscribe, and comment below what you guys think. Hit the notification bell. Hit all so you're alerted when I make new uploads, and. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video for the 2020 Bugatti Bolide. So this is going to be, that is going to be a good one for you guys. I promise you. So yeah, um, I done it. I got the info done. I just got to wait uh, till like, I start uh, doing a video on it. And then uh, we'll see where that leads up to. And we'll see where that leads up to. Sounds like a plan. So yeah. But that will have to wait eventually in the near future or something. I don't know. So, um... So that's it guys so this video will have to wait but until then have a great day stay safe be kind to one another help each other out yeah, that really means a, a lot to all the people even to me and to the world so be nice to one another and um, if you guys like this video like it subscribe comment below Hit the notification bell, hit all, so you're loaded when I make new uploads. If we get to like 150 subscribers, I'll be a happy guy. Happy man. If it's up to 200, more than happy. More than happy. Seriously, just more than happy. So, um, so that is it. So, like, subscribe, comment below what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care guys. Have a good day. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.